Hello everyone. Welcome to the interesting session on tips and tricks about data visualization in 3D experience platform. So let's dive in quickly. As you all know that there are tons of different data types in 3D experience platform and you always need to visualize the content of different data or different files inside the 3D experience platform. And there is a possibility that you might get lost in the pool of applications that are available in 3D experience platform. So today we will see the segregation. What are the different data types and how you can visualize using the different sets of applications in 3D experience platform and what are the uh, different key benefits of each application. So to start with in the 3D experience platform, one type of data you always encounter with is 2D drawings. So these drawings might come from 3D experience Katia or Katia V5 or other XCAD tools, DXF or AutoCAD, for example. So these drawings, you need to visualize the content of the drawing. Okay, all the different sheets and 2D layouts. So this can be done using two applications like 3D play and 3D markup. 3D play is very basic application where you can navigate through the drawing content. And if you want to perform some uh, specific reviews on the drawing, then you can use 3D markup application as you all know. Then coming to the next type of data, which could be 3D designs. So there are a lot of different 3D designs coming from different CAD tools. It could be native Katia 3D experience or SOLIDWORKS or Katia V5 or any other XCAD tool for that matter. So all the different 3D designs, what you can do is you can, you can drag and drop these designs into a set of different applications. There are total five applications where you can visualize these 3D you can rotate, zoom, and uh, and just navigate through it. And not only that, why we have five applications for the same thing? Basically, the five applications are targeted for different purposes. Okay, so 3D Play is the basic application where you can navigate, you can explode the assembly and see the contents or the sub assemblies. Then you can use 3D Markup for specific review purposes. You can uh, also uh, you can not only identify or locate the issues and annotate them, you can also uh, create some slides and reviews out of it. And then collaborate with different designers to, to share the uh, issues available, uh, issues present in the designs. Then you have another application which is 3D Compose. Here you can actually build the assemblies in 3D. So for this, you don't need a resource hungry desktop application like Katia 3D experience. What you can do is just drag and drop the assembly into 3D Compose and start, uh, start relocating or repositioning the sub assembly components inside the 3D Compose. It is very intuitive. Another application is 3D Navigate, for example. Here you have a benefit of exploring through the 3D as well as looking at its uh, related tree structure. You can also cross highlight. You can use the volume query inside the 3D navigate. So using the volume query, say a predefined sphere or box volume, you can select all the components coming inside that volume and then you can perform interested or whatever uh, interesting actions you want to perform on the selected components. For example, you can open those selected components in Katia and then start working from there. Another application is Issue 3D Review. So this is specifically designed to locate the issues inside the uh, assembly in 3D. So there are different bubbles popping up on the 3D. So you can uh, easily identify or locate which are the components which are uh, which are having issues in the assembly then another type of data is tolerances and annotations you can visualize these tolerances and annotations in 3d play as well as 3d markup 
again 3d play you can you can visualize these tolerances and uh, navigate through them and you can use uh, 3d markup for example to create annotations or reviews on this uh, 3d uh, 3d designs which have the uh, tolerances inside them then another set of data is text or pdf documents in any business you encounter with lot of documents and you need some tool to quickly visualize the content of the document within the 3d experience platform itself so you can visualize either text or pdf content in 3d play as well as 3d markup applications you can also perform some reviews in 3d markup and uh, then collaborate with your colleagues and uh, resolve the issues so if you go if you quickly have a look at all these applications you can identify or you can notice that 3d play and 3d markup are the two applications which support almost all the data types so let it be 2d drawing 3d designs or text or pdf file everything you, you can visualize in 3d play as well as 3d markup and 3d compose or 3d navigate and issue 3d review are the applications which are specifically designed for some predefined purposes now uh, i will take you to uh, through a quick very quick demo just to show you how exactly you can uh, use these applications and i will show you some uh, interesting examples so here we have the 3d play application where i have opened the text simple text document i can navigate through it i can zoom in or zoom out and i can see the properties of the document in the right side then i switch to the 3d markup here i have a different uh, here i have opened a drawing which has different sheets for example i can quickly start creating the markup and i can try start uh, creating some annotations and uh, save these slides and these markups i can collaborate with other designers and i can also report issues or maybe change actions to initiate the changes of course we can also uh, visualize a 3d in 3d markup this is just an example another example is of 3d compose as i said you can actually start building the assemblies inside 3d compose this is everything on web so this is so powerful that right now i can you can see that there is this uh, rear fender which is not correctly positioned so i can just simply click on it and drag it on the in the assembly and drop it so i have located it into the into the assembly i can click okay and the position of this uh, fender is now saved in the database so this is the this is very powerful tool another application is for example 3d annotation inside here again i have the 3d but here with the tolerances and annotations so i can uh, either filter the, through the different annotations or i can uh, go through different font views or captures and i can see what are the tolerances available in this uh, 3d design then the last application i want to show you is that issue 3d review now this is the 3d of uh, transmission shaft for example and uh, i have a command here to show or hide the issues so if i click on this immediately i can see how many issues are reported on this assembly if i hover over one of the balloons then i can see okay this is, there is an issue in the worm wheel uh, another balloon is showing that there is an issue in connecting rod and i can start navigating and exploring what are the issues available inside uh, the issue 3d review so that's all for today i hope this was interesting and it has given you clear idea about how to visualize different data in the 3d experience platform thank you